All right, and welcome back to another uh, episode where we are looking at the basics of Python coding. Uh, in today's example, we're gonna be looking at a very simple branching exercise. So branches are super important in coding because they allow us to get the computer to execute different pieces of code based on a particular condition or input maybe from a user. So in this example, we're just gonna write a very simple if statement. So you may have heard of an if else, uh, which is basically the, the building block of, of any coding language alongside a, a loop of some sort. So what we're going to do today is just build a, a little thing that basically gets the user to en input their age and then it uh, exports or outputs uh, what um, sort of category of person they are based on age. Not, not the best uh, definition there. So to start with, we're going to have a quick variable, which we're going to call age. And then we're just going to say age equals. And to make things really quickly, I know this isn't the best way to do it, but we're just going to create an integer input where we say, how old are you? Okay. And then from there, we get on with writing our if statement. Now, the way that they're formatted in Python is nice and easy. So we start with the keyword if, uh, and then we write down what our condition is. So we're going to say here, maybe that if age is greater than 65, um, and then we're gonna have a colon to delineate. Here is where uh, the code that I want you to execute from this point forward. Uh, you can see that when I pressed enter, it automatically indented that. So anything on the inside of the if statement there, this is going to be the code that gets executed if the age is greater than 65. So we could have multiple lines of code here. We could even have a loop if we really wanted to, but um, just to keep it nice and simple, we're just gonna have a print statement there that says uh, you are considered a senior citizen, okay? Uh, and then we're gonna continue to move on. So uh, the most basic form of an if statement is that uh, if we have a particular condition is met, so in this case, the person enters that their age is greater than 65, uh, we execute a piece of code, or the other option is then an else, uh, where we execute uh, a different piece of code if th that condition is not met. Now, just to jump ahead just a tiny little bit, I'm gonna add in this new statement, which is called an elif. And basically what it is, is it's else and if put together. So if we were to execute our code and they entered something that was not age, or was under 65, or in this case, sorry, actually 65 or under, uh, it would execute this elif statement, which is then gonna be a chance to ask the computer another question to say, um, could you check this particular um, condition as well. So in this instance, then we can have age is greater than 18. And then we can print um, you are considered an adult. All right, so super simple there. Uh, and then from this point forward, obviously, we could continue to add more and more elifs if we really wanted to. So again, I can have age is greater than two. Um, print you, you are considered a child. And then finally, I could have an else at the bottom here and just have um, print, um, you are considered an infant or toddler, I guess. I don't know, let's leave it like that. Okay, so at this point now, we obviously have um, the thing that our person is going to do. So they're gonna be asked um, via this input command whether or how to enter how old they are. Uh, and that's gonna be stored as an integer. Okay, um, if they're above 65, then we're gonna have that they're a senior citizen. If they're above 18, they're gonna be considered an adult too, or they're a child. And obviously if they're able to read that and respond to it and they're under two, they're doing really well, but uh, you know, they're considered a toddler. So when I go to run the code, obviously it's gonna ask me to save it. I'm just gonna quickly um, put that in my normal folder and name it branching example. We'll overwrite that one. Okay, and then from here, you can see over in our compiler, um, we are able to see uh, how old are you. So if I enter, uh, say like 25, it says that I'm considered an adult. Okay, so obviously it goes through and checks the value of 25 and then goes and um, finds which of the conditions is met. Now, interesting what you'll notice is if I hit run here and I type in 18, it says that you are considered a child, okay? Now, we obviously in society would consider someone who is over the age of 18 to be an adult, uh, but in relation to our program, we can see here that the age must be greater than 18 for us to be considered an adult. Um, so that's why it's gonna respond with child there as well. Now you can uh, look up a whole heap of different commands and things like that and ways that you can check uh, your branching statements to uh, get things to 
um, execute different pieces of code. Um, so you can play around with this simple example. But in the next video, we're gonna have a look at a, a little grid drawing thing in Python where we're gonna have quickly develop a grid so that we can see it on screen. And if we click in a particular quadrant, uh, a certain color is going to appear. Okay, so um, hopefully this gives you a fairly decent understanding of how an if statement is written uh, and also formatted syntax wise in Python. So you can see that we've got if and elif and also an else down here at the bottom. Um, and hopefully I'll see you over in the next video.